So what can you do? Well, you should encourage uh, the schools to have an institutional plan available and make sure that the parents check and make sure there is some kind of plan. And what that would entail is uh, staff being trained to recognize food allergy quickly, know where to obtain epinephrine, know how and when to administer it, and for food allergy patients to be able to administer it without having to contact the parent first because time is critical. If the school doesn't have an institutional plan, or if it's say a smaller private institution that's not set up like a daycare, you can encourage them to visit foodallergy.org and in many cases for free and sometimes for a nominal charge, they can download, um, a, or they, they can order a video that can train staff. You can get, they have a binder with over 100 pages of information in standardized forms and posters just to increase awareness. And so you can have that in the school. They also have a PDF you can download for an individualized action plan. It should include their picture, their name, what they're allergic to, whether they're asthmatic or not, and then a list of the medications you recommend. Uh, the biggest risk factor for death in, in food allergies is delay of epinephrine administration. And it's so interesting to me that schools and other public institutions are often very afraid to give epinephrine and they delay it. They want to make sure when they use it, the child actually needs it. But what's interesting, there's never been any litigation uh, uh, for administering epinephrine early or needlessly. The lawsuits have occurred in delayed administration. So really the safer thing for them to do is just administer it if there's any question. Uh, dosing can be a little tricky. The package insert says from 15 kilos to 30 kilos use the 0.15, that's the junior dose, and greater than 30 kilos use the 0.3 dose. Well, you know, you have plenty of kids who are food allergic under 15 kilos, so say they're 10 kilos, that'd be a 1.5 overdose. But then as you move into the prescribed dosing range at 20 kilos, which is in that range for the junior, it would be a 1.3 fold underdose. And at 25 kilos, it's almost a two-fold underdose. So the AAP convened a panel to try to give some additional recommendations to manage this. And what they determined is that from 10 to 25 kilos, they would recommend using the junior dose. So notice that cutoff is at 25 kilos and not at 30 to go to the adult dose. So they opted for a slight overdose. I think it's a 1.3-fold overdose at the 25 kilos rather than underdosing. And then what about under 10 kilos? There really is little safety data available at the junior dose. Um, in survey data of parent comfort and physician practice, there was a strong favor for the auto-injector rather than the alternative, which would be the vial and syringe method. Supporting that is there are studies looking at parents drawing up the correct dose of epinephrine in a non-emergent situation, and there was a very large error rate. So, it may be safer just to opt for a known overdose, but at least you know what it's going to be.